Well, hello everyone, it is Thais again. So, I just finished working out and I am super sweaty as you can see. So, I have come to the conclusion that I will have to add another wash day to my hair regimen because this is too much sweat. And I work out five days a week now and I do a lot more cardio than I was doing like in the past. Before I was doing Pilates and it wasn't really that much sweat. But this is just a lot. Like last night, my hair... Well, my head was bothering me, like, it was just so itchy. And then, to make it even worse, this week I went to the park where, you know, after I was finished working out and, like, all that heat and running, going, like, two laps and then, you know, working out at the outdoor gym, I was just drenched in sweat. Like, my whole scalp was super drenched. So, I would definitely have to wash my hair again for the week and I think I'm gonna add this well change my regimen where I wash twice a week now so I'm not gonna co-wash um, I'm not a big fan of co-washing I feel like it makes my hair itchy and it doesn't feel clean it feels grimy so I think I'm just going to probably dilute my shampoo on the second wash so it's like a super mild even mild even though my shampoo that cream of nature is really really mild it's really moisturizing so if I like dilute it with water it will be like super mild for the second wash so I'm not like over stripping my hair throughout the week but yeah these braids did not make it to Friday today is Thursday and I'm already taking it down as you can see as I speak so that is something new to my regimen now yeah I definitely have to wash my hair again Ah, my scalp feels so much better, so light, so clean. Oh, it feels so good, guys. Like, when I put that water on my hair in the shower, it's like it ignited all of that sweat and it was just so itchy. I was just so happy to get some shampoo on my scalp. Oh, I really, really needed that. Mm. Okay, everyone, so I have something to announce. Another thing that is new in my hair regimen is that I started mixing my deep conditioners with oil again. I find that I have so much more moisture. And remember I told you guys that this cholesterol started acting as a strengthening deep conditioner versus moisturizing. So to give it a bit of variation, I mix it with the cream of nature. My usual cream of nature so I just take out like one scoop of this with my brush put it in my bowl or I can do another little scoop yeah about two scoops of that and then I just squeeze some of this in here this is the cream of nature very moisturizing this combo is so moisturizing guys I forgot about like mixing my deep conditioners so, yeah. Oh, yeah, I put some coconut oil in there. So, I stopped using the coconut oil to moisturize and seal because it started making my hair hard. And Hairlicious, the blogger, she's actually my hair during, like, inspiration. And, you know, she was like, instead of using it as a moisturizing, and instead of using it as a sealant, use it in your deep conditioner. And it's been going good so far. Like, I love it in my deep conditioner. So I just take out like this much. I don't want to make my hair too oily. I think that might be too much. Because you have to be careful. Like putting oils in your conditioner. Sometimes your hair come out like super oily. Oops. Damn, I got it all over this thing. Let's put it in there. Yeah, my, my coconut oil is very solid right now because the room is cold. I try not to keep it, I mean, put it in the bathroom because the steam from the bathroom, like, makes your oil go bad really fast when it's being heated up so many times every single day. And I also want the option to, like, use it in my food so I don't really keep it in the bathroom. So if I want to use it in my food, which is why I always use a clean spoon when I use it. And I just mix this together. Oh yeah, I put one spoon of the extra virgin olive oil. That was extra virgin olive oil. I think this looks too greasy. And then I just mix it, mix it, mix it like the old days. <laughs> 
this gives my hair so much moisture guys like I need to keep mixing my deep conditioners with oil like I totally forgot about it <laughs> oh yeah just mix it so I'm gonna deep condition my hair with this and I get super buttery soft results when I do this Yeah, so I just finished washing my hair. So sorry I have to whisper because someone is sleeping right now. Um, but yeah, just rinsed out the deep conditioner and my hair is so buttery soft. Like I'm so happy I decided to start adding oils to my deep conditioners again. And now I'm just so excited to like try new oils and buy other oils. So this is going to be an interesting journey. Um, but I'm just so happy to have clean hair again and my hair is super duper buttery soft with the oils. Um, so yeah, that was just a little quick hair diary, just giving you guys an update on what I'm doing in my hair regimen. Remember I say I'm going to be washing my hair twice a week, so I'm only going to be deep conditioning once. I will not be deep conditioning and sitting under the dryer twice a week. I don't know so for the second wash well my midweek wash when I say I would dilute the shampoo to make it less harsh and more gentle um, on that wash I will only be using conditioner in the shower so I will just um, put the conditioner on my hair cover with a plastic cap and then let it steam while I'm taking a shower and then go ahead and rinse it out and air dry and all of that and then on the other wash I use my shampoo full strength and then I will get out the shower deep condition under the hooded dryer and all that sort of stuff so yeah thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you again in my next video bye bye